Okay, we have the uh, Dentron DTR2000L here. It's fired up. It's on the sideband setting. So slightly higher voltage on the plate. Over CW. I have the uh, Yaesu FT847. I have it on 3.5 megahertz. Going into a commercial dummy load. The radio, the radio isn't cranked up all the way. Uh, so this is my forward power from the radio, forward power from the amplifier. So line section after the amp, line section right after the radio. This one has a that line section has a 250 watt slug. This one has a 1kW slug. That's the 250. There's the 1kW. I do not have peak reading meters in these meters. I'm not going to push the amplifier really hard. So, just the radio. It's on sideband, lower sideband. Audio, hello, audio, hello, audio, hello, audio, hello, audio, hello. Radio's going up to about 50 on average. We're going to key the amplifier. Audio, hello, audio, audio, audio. So, amplifier is working as it should on all bands. Like I said, I do not have a peak reading meter hooked up right now. So they're both reading average. I'll put. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Here's the inside of the DTR2000L. I obtained this in a big parts deal. So, it had a problem with the time delay, the delay on relay, which is um, required for a indirectly heated cathode tube, like an 8877. I might calls for three minutes. This one was tripping at like two minutes. It was below. I had like three or four of these, and it was either below two minutes or like slightly above two minutes, like two ten or something like that. So um, I just don't like taking the chance. It's just uh, you know they they say that um, you just can't apply the RF to it um, for three minutes. So I just didn't want to take a chance. I went ahead and bought a newer style zero to six minute delay on which requires a second relay for it to work for the delay on to work so put those in use double-sided sticky tape it inhibits it from being able to be keyed and also from you being able to select the SSB voltage setting so I went ahead and did that um, left the octal socket in so someone could put one of these back in if they want, but um, the other one, a couple of the ones I had were new and they still tripped early. So um, I'm just a real stickler. I like to have everything perfect. So went ahead and did that. Use Teflon wiring. The connections are right at the base of the socket, so it can be undone. Um, coil runs off of. Uh, 120 so it's connected back there to the terminal strip and the 120 um, off the 120 winding and the transformer primary winding so it can all be undone if need be but did a nice, nice neat job this thing was owned by a ham radio operator who had passed um, he did not abuse it I don't see any damage to the band switch or any modifications or anything uh, I didn't go crazy with mods, left the stock filter caps, they're working fine. Um, ran it for a while, no issues. Um, I added meter, uh, plate uh, protection diodes for the plate current meter, that's a must. Plate current meter works, as you saw in the other video. Like it's uh, Teflon wiring, uh, just nice and clean. It's a later model, has the centrifugal type blower instead of that muffin fan. Um, it's missing the two feet. It was missing one, so I removed the other. I'll put, I can add some sticky feet or 
buy a couple replacements, so I just figured I would um, sell it like that so I can keep the price down. Um, I'll be uh, selling this right after I put the video up. Actually, after my wife puts the video up. Um, so, that's about it. Oh, one other thing. Yeah, the uh, ready lamp is out. I don't know where to source these, but uh, these two lamps work. When um, the delay time has elapsed, normally the ready lamp would come on as long as it's on the CW position. When you select the SSB, the SSB lamp lights, and when you have it keyed with the foot pedal, the transmit lamp lights. These two red ones work fine. The bulb is out. This one it unscrews. Can't uh, change the bulb in that. You need to find a whole new uh, one. So, um, but that's about it. If you have any questions, oh, one other thing. Yeah, it's a iMac 3CX 1500 A7. Good tube. So that's it. Feel free to ask any questions. Check out my website, ampreparegrad.com. We have many parts. So we can fix almost anything. Um, I uh, love fixing stuff. So Just drop us an email, phone call, text, whatever. If you have anything for sale, any parts or whatever, we'd love to hear about it. If you're looking for a part, we probably have it. We fully test all our parts before they leave. So, that's about it. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed day.